Hi everyone and welcome back. So in the previous couple of videos, we created all required components for the Netflix clone. Okay, now we will just inspect the elements and we will see what all components we have in our UI. Okay, so let's inspect it and see all the components which are involved here on the UI. Okay, so yes, here we can see the app component. Here we have a state which has a data and results, right? And this navigation, these are the functional component rendering nothing. This search bar component which has an on submit method which is going to the parent component, app component. And here it is just making an API call whenever you enter something. Okay, this is a search list component which is getting the data in the props and from the data we are getting results and that this result we are iterating. So we are just showing only the five top results out of it. Similarly, the, these different title list we have, right? The only difference is here the two things we are passing title and props, right? Trending now, URLs, science fiction, top horror movies, all these we are passing and based on that, based on this URL, we are making an API call and we are just get fetching the data from the APIs and this result we are just iterating and passing that in the item component. So there is a item component here. You can see there are unique keys are assigned. So these item components are receiving all the information that need to be shown, backdrop, overview, score, title, that they are receiving in the props. So this title list is getting data in an array in the data.result. We are iterating on it and for the top five results, we are returning five item components, okay? So this is the kind of story we have very basic uh, layouts we have used. We have used the basic styling and uh, we are able to achieve it. So same same kind of application you can actually build. You can use some kind of open APIs, IMDB APIs and all to fetch the latest web series, latest TV series or uh, the latest movies. So you can create these same kind of categories which Netflix is having. We are just reading the data. We don't have a backend. We are reading these open APIs to fetch the data and show the data on the UI in our component, organized component approach. So we have created here multiple components, right? Those components there, in those components, we are feeding data. What they are show, doing is they are rendering the data. And few things are dynamic here, like you are passing some search keyword here. Based on that, we are fetching the results on the UI. So that is also coming from the APIs. Okay, that's it. So in the next video, we can cover one more demo applications like uh, we'll see what we can cover. And then we will cover in coming series, we'll talk about React Redux, how to manage the state, what is the major difference between functional component and a class-based component, what you should use, what should be your approach. Okay, thanks everyone.